What's going on guys, Michael Lee here back with another video. And today I have a special treat for you guys. We're not gonna to tour one, but two properties. Similarly priced, both around 420,000. One is gonna be priced at 427,000, while the other is gonna be priced at 425,000. This is gonna give you an idea of what's on the market right now and comparing two properties in two different neighborhoods. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Michael Lee. I'm your realtor of the Palm Beaches, and my job is to help you find the best hidden gems in Palm Beach County. Whether that's a $5 million home on the ocean or a beautiful town home in the middle of the city, please consider subscribing to the channel where you guys can stay updated on new neighborhood tours as well as property tours. Without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to Gramercy Park, where we're gonna check out this beautifully renovated three bedroom, two bath, single family home, just over 1200 square feet. So we're gonna start in the living room, dining room combination. As you can see, large floor plan, as far as a combination of a living dining room situation. Recess lighting throughout, large windows as well. You can see with the galley kitchen here, that connects to the living room and dining room. And what I mean by galley kitchen is a straightforward design. You'll often see these designs on ships, but they also have them in homes as well to save on space. Stainless steel appliances, storage on top. And as you can see, they do have the washer and dryer on the interior as well, connecting to the kitchen. And it's a little hidden off, so it's actually pretty nice that you can do it right there in the kitchen, but you don't actually see it when you have guests. Let's check out the three bedrooms, which are gonna be on the right side of the home, all three. Small hallway, and my first bedroom is gonna come up on the right. You can see all recessed lighting throughout as well. Pretty solid size closets. As you saw in the middle of the beginning of the video, it's on market right now for $427,000. So you have the second bedroom, bedroom number two, which is a little larger than the first. With the view of the backyard here, we'll check that out in a second. And another closet, same size closet. Here is the bathroom, first of two. Updated tile, updated shower. Now this will be for your guests as well, as well as the two bathrooms, as well as the two bedrooms, I'm sorry. Now immediately to my left is going to be the primary suite, the largest of the three bedrooms. Walk-in closet, you do have a larger closet space than the first two bedrooms that you saw. So you can kind of put in a PAX closet system, turn it into something else that you would like. And primary bath. Now what this home does not have is a tub. Most of the time people do take showers, but if you do have small children, that could be something that you would want to look into. Or you can just put them in the sink because the farmhouse sink is pretty large. And with that, let's just transition to the backyard.
Right, welcome to Northwood Hills, where we're gonna check out a beautiful three bedroom, two bath home, just under 1,600 square feet total. This property has two separate units, one unit in the front and one unit in the back. And it does have vaulted ceilings. I'm in here, right here in the living room to start. And directly to my right is going to be the kitchen. All right. Now compared with the home in Gramercy Park, the kitchen is not a gala kitchen. It is much larger, but I will say it probably would need a nice little touch if you want to add some to it. Now it does have the washer and dryer off the kitchen as well, similar to the home in Gramercy Park. And it does have a door and as well as additional storage space here. So you can pretty much do whatever you like with that space. And this can be closed off as well to add in another door. Now the ceiling height does make the room and the kitchen area feel larger. And we'll work our way back to check out the first of two bathrooms. Now the main home, and now let's just say the main home because there are two separate structures, does have a two one. So this is what you'll see in the main home. It's two bedrooms, one bath. updated flooring, as well as the vaulted ceilings throughout. The second and the smaller of the two bedrooms, as well you have the vaulted ceilings as well. And the additional closet space with the barn wood door. So they did maximize the space without having the closet door swing out or in. They are barn wood style. So let's work our way around to the backyard and check out the second unit. Yeah, this is the pathway to the backyard. So your backyard really does have the second unit in front, but it is, you do have some ample space. So this could be a great area for maybe a patio set to combine the two. Now there isn't any access from this house, from the back of the house to this particular unit. You do have to go out the front to walk around to the second unit. But this actual, I wanna say connection to connect one house to the other, provides some ample shade, especially in the summertime. You do have a nice outdoor storage area there as well as the continuation of the backyard in the back. So, without further ado, let's check out this second unit here. 